All right, side swipe. So, side swipe is an inverted 540, right? Well, I prefer to think of it as a raise switch, an inverted raise switch. So, when you're doing your side swipe, it's really easy. I mean, you can just step right into it easy, 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 easy. So, but, I mean, it's, you're not going to get a lot of power that way unless you're Scalco or something. So, personally, I'd like to do a hook kick into it. So, go ahead and do your hook kick. Do your big old hook kick, and then as you step into it, let that hook kick carry you around so that you're facing this way. If you guys have ever seen my raise tutorial, I talk about it. I talk about starting it here. If you let that hook kick swing you around right here until you're facing this way, and then you start in your takeoff, personally, I get higher on my side swipes just by that takeoff right there. So, you go in here, you turn, and you need to take off here for your side swipe, not here, because what you're going to do is, because you're doing a side swipe, you're not going to try and go completely inverted. You're going to come around a little bit, right? So, unlike the inverted rays, which you go right over the top, it's, it is to the side. So you probably want to hit about a 45 degree up here with your left, with your left leg, right up here, about 45 degrees up, instead of being 90 inverted and like 180 right here. Um, and just flat, so it'd be a laid back 540. So when you take off, you're facing this way, right? So you're gonna kind of kick around, and when you take off, really pull up on your shoulders, pull up hard, arch your back as much as you can. As, if you arch your back really, really far, when you take back, if you arch it to where it feels almost uncomfortable, it's gonna pull you up in the air. Because what that's gonna do is it's gonna slingshot your hips from the ground up. And you don't have to really worry about dipping at all. Because people, when you dip on your side swipe, that's when you have a low side swipe. You need to take off standing straight up, arching your back. Because when you go up and you arch your back here, again, it just slingshots your hips straight up so that your side swipe can be shoulder to head height easily. That's the side swipe you want. You don't want a belly button to nipple sized um, side swipe, okay? So when you take off, Start here, Ugh. sorry, injured, hurts um, to stand on one leg, but you, um, you take off here, right? So once you slingshot your, your legs up into the air, you have to wait. Don't kick over right, up, right off the back. So if you kick over right off the back, it kills your set. Go straight up, then kick over. Because the second you do that, the second you, you set, I mean, a set just brings you up in the air. So set this kick. Everything has a set, whether it's... Anything, anything has a set, remember that. So, once you set up for your side swipe and you, you made it um, about 45 degrees up here with your left leg and your body's starting to turn towards your target, that's when you swipe on over. Now, when you swipe, don't just leave your chest down when you land. That'll hurt your back and you'll probably like, if you do it enough, you'll probably pinch a nerve or something like that. Pull your chest up as you land. You'll be able to land standing straight up, which will make it easier to combo and also make it easier to do a swipe knife, which is pretty sweet. So, um, so let's just recap again. A lot like an inverted raise, because this tutorial is not for someone learning a 540. If you got a good inverted raise, this is what this tutorial is for. This is a build on top of the inverted raise. So, set up for your inverted raise, and you take off just like your inverted raise. Pull your shoulder, shoulders up, set with your chest up, arch your back hard, and turn to looking at your target. That's something I forgot to mention. When you take off, you should look at your target. Instead of looking at this wall, or I mean, that's just what I'm looking at. Instead of looking to the right of your target, if you're a left side spinner, it should be the left of the camera. Um, uh, instead of looking there, you want to look at your target when you take off. That's something I forgot to mention big time. You look at your target, because that's going to pull you to where your chest moves over, and that'll get your body flat facing the, um, your target for the kick. So, come up, arch your back, look at your target, and then go over. So you look at your target, and then look down to see where you're going to be landing. So, uh, arch your back, slingshot your hips up, you got to wait and set. You set up, you kick, and as you're landing, pull up your chest out of it, okay? So,
that's pretty much it. A side swipe isn't too complicated. Don't think of it as a laid back 540, because if you do, it's probably not going to be very high. And there's not a real good set for a 540 other than just jumping straight up, and that doesn't really work for doing a side swipe. So think of it as an inverted raise switch, but actually just swipe, don't just switch your legs. Um, so that's the side swipe.